I'm Lonnie Bradley Holly Sr. and I'm in the classroom of the mothership out in Mother Universe. Small plastic objects. All of these things can rise again. And they shall rise again when the water get high. He's a visual artist, he's a musician, he's a mentor. I don't, I don't have that many fine clothes. My shoes are not up to par. I do have the energy still as a 69 year old man. Lonnie's taught us a lot of things while we were here. And one of the things is that you can make something beautiful out of anything you find. As humans, we all are first encounters. We are curious about one and the other's activity. We are curious about how you think of me, what you think of me, and what it is you are trying to teach me. Say yeah, man. Tell me away. We also titled the project um, Barrier Reclamation. So that we went out to the barrier islands and reclaimed things. But it was also about barriers of geography. We were working with students primarily from Eastern Jackson County, which is not far from here in Ocean Springs, but travel is difficult. So there's barriers even 20 miles away and less that we wanted to also think about. So we didn't want to just look in our backyards, but go beyond Ocean Springs, ask students to bring things from their neighborhoods, go out to Horn Island, and what's resulted are some assemblages and sculptures installed in front of the museum. I really think they did a wonderful job. The times that they really put forth their focus and their ability, they got so serious, you couldn't joke them, you couldn't have pulled them away with a tractor trailer truck. These materials that children chose to work with, they had a life before they chose them to work with them. They used some of the materials out of some of the houses that was around. Even when a Katrina came, they brought back from Hone Island broken pieces of shell. They actually put objects together of today's time and times that have passed. The roots that turned into driftwood. And no matter what we are as a people, we have roots of our ancestors. Other generations of other type of roots get, get tangled up in there. So when you're talking about the mixture of humankind or humanity being mixed in the American attitude, I really love the way that the sculptures ended up being a message to America and beyond. Across the board, students don't have enough opportunity to, to expand you know, their education beyond the classroom and to think beyond what is expected of them. And Walter Anderson talked about that. He called it the dominant mode on shore. When he would leave the mainland, it was to escape this rigid, myopic modernity that he saw as being constrictive of pure human expression and the possibilities of that. And after he died and they discovered all the Horn Island watercolors and the the mass of things he had made. Walter's wife said supposedly that he was a great artist because he never ceased to be a beachcomber and looking for treasures and things that he found and opportunities to, to make work. And that's where Lonnie Holly steps right into the picture, finding things that people have left or that other folks have passed by that their meaning hasn't been understood or realized. And hopefully students involved in this see that they don't have to have permission to be told that they're artists or that they have value or that their ideas can, can be something larger. He died in 1965. So up until 65, I was just 15 years old and I was probably just getting out of Alabama Industrial School for Negro Children during that time period. But I had mainly been almost the same identical examiner as Mr. Anderson had been towards material, but he had a big island, and I had ditches, creeks, alleys, and off the beaded paths in Birmingham, Alabama. In the Bible, they say, will you be willing 
to come leave all you got and come go with me. That's what I asked of these children, and they did it. It was awesome. We got to make these awesome sculptures. My favorite part was everything. It reminds me of friendship. It, I never imagined myself to be sculpting, and that was a really good experience. And it kind of motivated me a little bit more. It's some man's trash and not man's treasure. I usually just throw stuff in the trash that I'm using no more, but he said, don't throw it away, just make something with it. And you just got to build. There was no judgment. In high school, you don't really get noticed that much from doing my art, and I really appreciate that. Warren Island, a lot. We, I learned a lot. Art is my favorite, favorite thing to do. It can be anything you want it to be. I think that I'm very proud of myself for being able to do all this and being able to make my sculpture and being able to put it here at, at this museum. That means whatever space you are, if I said, come on, join me, let's take care of this space, then that's my space for us, okay? Okay, guys? Yes, sir. And I thank you all very much for being a part of my space for it. Thumbs up, Mother Universe. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. For Mother Universe. For Mother Universe. Thumbs up. For the Mother Universe. Thumbs up for Mother Universe.